The UK building regulations are a set of standards that ensure that all construction work in the UK is safe, healthy and accessible. In this video we'll be exploring what the building regulations are, how they're enforced, as well as a series of approved documents. But before we start, if you enjoy our videos or have found them useful in any way, subscribing to our channel really does help us grow. We've recently hit 14,000 subscribers and would love to reach 15,000 by summer. The building regulations are a set of technical standards and requirements that are set out in the Building Act 1984 and subsequent amendments. The Building Act provides the legal framework for the building regulations, which are enforced by local authorities in the UK. The building regulations are not themselves part of statutory law, but rather a set of technical requirements that must be followed in order to comply with the law. However, failure to comply with the building regulations can lead to legal action being taken against the persons responsible for the building work. So what are building regulations? The UK building regulations are a set of technical standards that apply to most building work, whether it's a new build, an extension or a renovation. These regulations cover a wide range of issues, which we'll discuss later in the video. How are the UK building regulations enforced? In order to comply with building regulations, Builders and property owners must submit plans and specifications to their local authority before starting any work. The local authority will then review the plans and conduct site inspections to ensure that the work is being carried out in accordance with the regulations. If the local authority finds that work is not being carried out in compliance with the regulations, they can issue a notice requiring the work to be stopped until the necessary changes are made. Failure to comply with the building regulations can result in fines, legal action and even the demolition of the building. Why are the UK building regulations important? The UK building regulations are important for a number of reasons. Firstly, they ensure that buildings are safe for occupants, visitors and the general public. By setting standards for fire safety, structural safety and accessibility, the regulations help to prevent accidents and injuries. Secondly, the regulations promote sustainability and energy efficiency. Buildings account for a significant amount of energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions and the building regulations help to reduce this impact by setting standards for insulation, heating, lighting and ventilation. Finally, the building regulations provide clarity and consistency in the construction industry by setting standards that apply to all building work, regardless of location or size. The regulations ensure that all buildings in the UK meet the same minimum standards. The building regulations are organised into a series of approved documents each of which covers a different aspect of building design and construction. These approved documents are identified by letters, which are as follows. A. Structure. This document covers the structural stability of buildings, including foundations, walls, roofs and floors. B. Fire safety. This document covers the fire safety in buildings, including means of escape, fire detection and alarm systems and fire resistance of the building elements. C. Site preparation and resistance to contaminants and moisture. This document covers the design and construction of building foundations, damp proofing and drainage. D. Toxic substances. This document covers the prevention of toxic substances from entering buildings, including radon, carbon monoxide and other hazardous materials. E. Resistance to the passage of sound. This document covers the sound insulation of walls, floors and ceilings, to prevent transmission of noise between different parts of the building. F. Ventilation. This document covers the provision of adequate ventilation in buildings, including the prevention of condensation and the control of indoor air quality. G. Hygiene. This document covers the provision of adequate sanitation and water supply in buildings, including the design and construction of the drainage and waste disposal systems. H. Drainage and waste disposal. This document covers the design and construction of drainage and waste disposal systems, including surface water drainage, foul water drainage, and sewage treatment. J. Heat producing appliances. This document covers the installation and use of heat producing appliances in the building, including boilers, heaters, and fires. K. Protection from falling, collisions, and impact. This document covers the prevention of falls and injuries from impact, including the design and construction of the stairs, balustrades and guarding. L. Conservation of fuel and power. This document covers the energy efficiency of buildings, including insulation, heating and lighting. M. Access to and use of buildings. This document covers the accessibility of buildings, including the provisions of ramps, handrails and other features 
to facilitate access for people with disabilities. N. Glazing. This document covers the safety to glazing in buildings, including the use of safety glass and the prevention of accidental breakage. P. Electrical safety. This document covers the design and installation of electrical systems in buildings, including wiring, lighting, and appliances. And finally, Q. Security. This document covers the security of buildings, including the design and installation of locks, alarms, and other security features. Each of these approved documents provide detailed guidance on how to meet the building regulations for a specific aspect of building design and construction. A link can be found relating to the building regulations below. Please note that this is a very brief explanation of the building regulations, and there are intricacies to building regulations. One brief example is Part L of the approved documents. This approved document is only applicable to Wales and not to England. Part L in Wales has its own unique requirement and standards for energy efficiency in buildings, which differ from those in England. This is because the Welsh Government has the power to set its own building regulations under the Wales Act 2017. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.